Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to this tutorial of Vegas Pro 10. In this tutorial, we will be talking about the basics of Vegas Pro 10. So if you're a beginner, this is a great starting uh, tutorial for you guys to watch. So let's go ahead and start up uh, Vegas Pro. Alright, here we, here we have our user interface. Okay, here it is. Let's go ahead and start by uh, labeling each thing. So I'm going to teach you uh, what what each of these panels mean. Okay, uh, let's start with the 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 video preview box. Okay, here's your video preview box. Everything that you do in your timeline, and I'll explain to you what your timeline is in a second. Everything everything edited, everything that you do will be visible in this video preview box. So right when you think you've done something and you want to make sure that it looks good this is where you click play and watch what you've done okay so this is your video uh, preview box down here where my mouse is is the timeline and here's the here's the pointer for the timeline skips through the timeline so this is where all of your uh, media goes into your pictures images videos audio even and uh, that's how that works and I'll show you how to import all this stuff. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's import some footage here. So let's go to File, Import, Import Media. Okay, click on that. Uh, let's see if I have any videos. Okay, I'll use this sample videos file. Okay, so let's click on Open. Drag and drop and you can see that this video has its own audio here okay now some of you are asking me how to uh, delete the audio or video separately okay so right now as you can see these two files the audio and video are grouped together and if you want to ungroup if you want to ungroup these files like if you want to delete the video portion or the audio portion all you need to do is press U the letter U on your keyboard it stands for ungroup okay so now these two files are separated from each other as you can see alright so now I can delete the audio by itself or I can delete the video by itself okay and I press control Z to uh, undo those things okay so there you have it so if I want to replace the audio file um, I can just go ahead and delete that and then go to my iTunes and drag and drop a, a track and uh, yeah so that's that's how that works and another useful tool I'm sorry I didn't say this earlier but um, another useful tool is the split tool and what this does it easily splits the video into segments uh, depending on your preference how long you want the segments to be like for example this long this long this long it's a really cool shortcut on your keyboard it's the S key on your keyboard that S stands for split so if I want to split these two pieces up I can just click on S and it will cut these pieces up for me same thing with video and uh, everything else that can be splitting you know that can be splitted just like that okay so I'm going to press control Z undo all that stuff okay and um, I'm going to leave these two videos already uh, split because I want to show you something really neat let's go ahead and zoom in and if you want to zoom in on the timeline just go ahead and use your scroller on your mouse and it will zoom in to that point where your pointer is on your timeline and let's talk about a little bit um, let's 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 talk a little bit about fading okay now uh, audio fading uh, so it fades from one segment to another segment and what this what this does it, it creates a really nice transitional effect with audio and video. So I can do the same thing with video too. I'm going to split these two videos up and I'm going to fade, okay? I don't want I want I don't want the audio to play right now cuz it's going to sound bad on the mic. So I'm going to go to the audio track here and click on mute. It'll mute the whole track. So let's go ahead and see how the fade looks. Oops. Sorry about that. The computer's doing a little processing right now so the fade's probably not going to end up being too cool. But uh, hang on, I can go to preview and just go to auto, and that will save up some CPU there. Save fade. Come on, it's 
and stingy today. And for all of you computer guys out there, I'm running a quad core i7 uh, Q840 uh, CPU with an NVIDIA 1 gig graphics card GeForce. So, for those of you who are interested in that. But I think you get the gist of what a fade is. It's, it's coming out there. I'm just processing some stuff right now, so it's not going to be that great. But anyway, that's what a fade is. And it's a really nice trans transitional element for uh, making really nice quality videos. Okay, so that's good enough for the timeline. Uh, let's go ahead and move up here in this panel here. We have our transitions, our video effects, our media generators, and our explorer. Okay, in our project media. The Explorer tab is pretty much your Explorer. This is where you find all of your files. Um, you go here to search for your files and you just drag and drop the files into the timeline that you want to use. The project media displays all the files that are in your timeline. Okay, so these two files are in my timeline right now. Transitions. These are all the transitions that you have in Vegas. All right. All you need to do is drag and drop in between the videos, or if you don't have two videos to put the transitions in between, you can just create a fade on one video by going to the top corner and uh, just dragging the fade offset right here. See that? Go to the corner of the video. You can create a fade. I'm not going to get too crazy about fades and cuts and stuff like that because I just really want to show you the basics of Vegas. And what you want to do once you create that fade, you just drag and drop that that transition into the fade right there. And this box will pop up and it'll give you a lot of options. I'll, I won't go over those right now, but right here is the uh, um, the transition. So that's how the transition looks like. Okay. In my other videos I'll show you how to do like uh, I'll get more into detail about crossfades and stuff like that. Here, on the next tab, we have video effects. So these are all of your effects that you have here. It's a lot of effects, a lot of good stuff here. All right, And I'm going to make tutorials on most of these effects, and I'll show you how each of them work. Probably all of them, the effects, I'll show you guys how it works, but they're all really, really fun. I have a lot of great effects on here that just really are just a fun thing to work with. And of course, in the New Vegas Pro 10 software, you have the stereoscopic uh, 3D adjust. Uh, if you have 3D laptops or TVs or something like that, it's a really good tool to, uh, you know, make 2D into 3D. So it's really, really nice, cool effect there. Okay, and we have our last tab right here, media generators. This is what creates your text uh, or shapes or colors, color gradients, text, uh, text patterns all that type of stuff and uh, same thing just drag and drop and it'll create a text file see that text file and here's the menu for the text file and you have your volume here and all that stuff I'm not gonna get into like vo volume envelopes and for those of you who do not know what volume envelopes are envelopes are like little control palettes for segments of the audio so uh, this is an envelope right here it lowers the audio, just drag and drop. I'm not going to go too deep into that because I won't have enough time. But anyway, this is pretty much the basics of Vegas. And don't forget you have all of your little controls right here. You have your record button to record audio or video. You have your play button from the beginning or from that where your pointer is. You have the loop playback button, so you can just loop a section. You have the pause, stop, rewind, all that stuff. So let's say you're ready to render your video. And rendering pretty much means process your video to make uh, a full movie. You want to go ahead and double click on a clip. And this gray bar on the uh, top, of the <laughs> top of the timeline will pop up. And you want to drag and select the part of the video or the whole video that you want to render. Once you do that, once it's all colored in blue, you can go ahead and go to File, then click Render As and you'll have all these render options here. Um, again, I'm not going to go into the render, all the rendering possibilities and options here because it will take way too long. I'll do that in another tutorial. But that's how, uh, that's how Vegas Pro works. It's a really simple program. I mean, I know how to do stuff in um, Final Cut Pro and, and Premiere Pro or uh, Adobe Premiere. And I just I think Vegas is a lot more easier for me.
I just get get video editing done so much quicker on these things on on this program. And uh yeah, that's how Vegas Pro works. So I hope this uh tutorial helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please again um message me. Oh yeah, and one more thing I forgot to tell you. Uh on the audio track, you have all these audio controls here. This is your volume, and this is your how bright you want your video to be. You see how it dims out right there? Yeah, so that's how that works. <laughs> Sorry I didn't tell you guys that earlier. But anyway, um, if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to email me or message me on YouTube or leave a comment on the video, and I'll be more than happy to uh, respond. Thanks again for watching, guys. Talk to you later.